Guys, welcome all to our channel, today I will be explaining you all about digital footprinting and main types of hackers. I will be using a voice changer to keep it a suspense for later. Thanks to all for 1250 subscribers. Now sit back and learn. First we shall learn what is digital footprinting and then we will understand types of hackers. So let's start. Your digital footprint is all the stuff you leave behind as you use the internet. Comments on social media, Skype calls, app use and email records its part of your online history and can potentially be seen by other people, or tracked in a database. How do we leave digital footprints? Websites and online shopping retailers and product review sites often leave cookies on your system which can track your movement from site to site, allowing targeted advertisements that can show you products you've been recently reading about or looking at online. Social media retweets, and Facebook comments, even private ones, leave a record. Make sure you know what the default privacy settings are for your social media accounts, and keep an eye on them. Sites often introduce new policies and settings that increase the visibility of your data. They may rely on you just clicking, OK, to whatever terms they are introducing, without reading them. Now as you know what digital footprinting is, so now let's learn about types of hackers hackers there are three types of hackers, white, black, and gray hat hackers black hat hackers the term black hat originated from western movies, where the bad guys wore black hats and the good guys wore white hats. A black hat hacker is an individual who attempts to gain unauthorized entry into a system or network to exploit them for malicious reasons. The black hat hacker does not have any permission or authority to compromise their targets. They try to inflict damage by compromising security systems, altering functions of websites and networks, or shutting down systems. They often do so to steal or gain access to passwords, financial information, and other personal data. White hat hackers White hat hackers, on the other hand, are deemed to be the good guys, working with organizations to strengthen the security of a system. A white hat has permission to engage the targets and to compromise them within the prescribed rules of engagement. White hat hackers are often referred to as ethical hackers. This individual specializes in ethical hacking tools, techniques, and methodologies to secure an organization's information systems. Unlike black hat hackers, ethical hackers exploit security networks and look for back doors when they are legally permitted to do so. White hat hackers always disclose every vulnerability they find in the company's security system so that it can be fixed before they are being exploited by malicious actors. Some Fortune 50 companies like Facebook, Microsoft, and Google also use white hat hackers. Gray hat hackers Gray hats exploit networks and computer systems in the way that black hats do, but do so without any malicious intent, disclosing all loopholes and vulnerabilities to law enforcement agencies or intelligence agencies. Usually, gray hat hackers surf the net and hack into computer systems to notify the administrator or the owner that their system, network contains one or more vulnerabilities that must be fixed immediately. Gray hats may also extort the hacked, offering to correct the defect for a nominal fee. 